welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new here, I'm Hannah and I have a twin sister, Haley. Um, we both play on the women's basketball team at the University of Miami. Um, as you can tell by the title of the video, one second, let me put you down. Yeah, we are currently doing a what we eat in a day um, versus a division one football player. We always do the collab videos and you guys really like them. And we're super into nutrition and stuff. So I think this would be a great video to show you guys. Um, I just woke up though, it was 8 o'clock, Haley is still sleeping. Every single morning, I know it's one of my non-negotiables, is like I have to chug water because we have a really hard time drinking water throughout the day. So I just like literally chug water before I have my coffee, have my pros, anything because I feel like that's like motivating in a way that I get like my pros, I don't know. I just kind of how my mind works, but yeah. Just chug some water, just chug my vitamins, always take a probiotic and then I have gut issues so I have to cut, take a gut vitamin. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to do this video today. You guys follow Kayla, but all his socials will be linked below. But let's get into a full day of eating with two Division One athletes. I'm excited to see the different comparisons. As you guys know, I'm about to go make my pros for breakfast. That's literally been my breakfast for like, I don't even know, like two months now. But if you follow us on Snapchat, all of our Snapchats are here. We always show you guys like our recipes and stuff. And yeah, let's get into the video. Guys, Caleb Fourier. I uh, play football at the University of Colorado, and today I'll be taking you guys through a day in the life of what I eat as a Division One athlete. So it's currently 5:01. I have workouts in an hour. They start at six. First thing I do in the morning, I drink some water just to rehydrate myself. It helps and flush out some toxins. It just I don't know, makes me feel better in the morning. So I'm gonna drink this, and I'll see you guys at breakfast. Before workouts this early in the morning, I like to eat oatmeal because it's light on my stomach and gives me energy. Ropes, cinnamon, blueberries, peanut butter, simply amazing. Seven. Just got done with workouts. About to grab some breakfast. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys at lunch. So it's 11.45 right now. I went to go grab some lunch at Modern Market. I got a bowl. Of course, I gotta have my bio steel to help hydrate me. Then I also got a margarita pizza. About to eat this and go ahead to my second workout of the day. Okay, you guys, so it's been a couple hours. We were about to leave before practice. About to chef it up, but I'm the better cook. Haley isn't. You guys got it. I told him to go follow our Snapchats because we are always like we're always showing like yeah behind the scenes of cooking. Okay, so we're about to make our lunch, which we're kind of brunch lunch girls. If that makes sense. Um, so I'm gonna make a bagel sandwich, it's like That's a fried like egg. It gives me like childhood flashbacks. My mom would always make me like a fried egg sandwich with mayonnaise. Are you guys more like sweet people in the morning or savory? Like I have to do sweet with my protein oatmeal and then I'll do like savory for lunch a little bit, but like some sweet, but I'm like a sweet girl. Yeah. Dinner, I'm like savory. Savory, oh, 100%. But I feel like everyone's savory on dinner. dinner. Oh, let's do breakfast for dinner. Yeah. But always in the night with a sweet treat. These are staples. So, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys our lunch and then Haley will talk to you guys later about like our snacks and stuff. The toaster, us arguing because she just made a mess. We will clean it. Do not come for our heads. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished meal. I have a fried egg with some low fat cheese on top, everything bagel seasoning, and a bagel thin with some light mayo and then some organic hash browns from Sprouts. But this is like definitely so easy to make and it doesn't look the best right there, but like it's so good. Um, yeah, hella protein in it as well. So this is today's lunch. Guys, just got done with my second workout of the day. About to make a post recovery shake. These are the ingredients I use. I go almond milk, skippy peanut butter, throw some oats in there for the carbs. I use this uh, protein right here, this isopur one. And of course, you got to add the greens. And then I use frozen bananas. Also, after I'm done working out, I'll throw some creatine in this little shaker. Do a little shake and then guzzle it after the 
work out to get the creatine in for the day. workout shake that I usually make after workout to come home whip it up real quick it looks disgusting but it's not about what it looks like it's about what it does for you and helps me uh, replenish the stuff I just lost and makes me feel better after a hard workout like I just had so I'm gonna drink this head to class then probably grab a little snack on the way probably a little wrap that I made eat that on my way to class and then uh yeah that should hi uh, tide me over until dinner but make sure if you're making this shake to add some ice, just we didn't have any ice or ice machines broken today. So this is it. All right, guys, before we head out to practice, I wanted to show you like what me and Hannah always bring. So it's like 12 o'clock, but we'll have like practice from like two to five. So I always have to like bring snacks and stuff, especially like um, after my lift, like I get a protein shake in like ASAP because muscle recovery and any lean muscle mass and protein. So yeah, these are the go-tos. You can get them at Costco. Really good macros. Um, and caramel rice cakes are my best friend. One sec, let me show you how much we have. Come in here, popcorn. But these are like, literally we eat, me and Hannah probably will eat. I'll just like grab these and bring them. But we eat around two to four of these bad boys a day. So we eat this and this. And then I'll come home and eat dinner after and show you guys what we make. Done with everything. I'm just currently in the nutrition room waiting for Haley to finish weights. It's 4 o'clock. Gonna snack on those and then get ready for dinner tonight. Because I'm starving and I need to chuck water. So I'll see you guys in a little. Just got back from class. Just picked up a burger and fries. Had to eat this as a little snack in the middle of my day. Um, I also am drinking water, so you know, as a Div Division One athlete, you got to make sure you stay hydrated, you know, just to prevent cramps and just, I don't know, water makes you feel good. It's good for the body. It's around 5 o'clock right now, and I'm about to grab a quick bite to eat before my last class of the day. I stopped at the fueling station, got some grilled cheese, chicken, and asparagus. Uh, this is really nice because we're able to eat here Monday through Friday, and they serve us breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's really convenient because we're able to eat around our schedules. If it's unfocused right now. Okay? okay, we just got back from practice and been hanging out, and now we're gonna eat dinner. We eat these, this recipe. I'm telling you guys, like twice, one time to twice a week. Steak nachos. Um, the key ingredient for us is like it's cut the carb wrapped, so we'll like cut them up. I'll show you guys how we prepare it and everything. But this is my favorite thing ever. I love Mexican food, so this is like how we stay healthy while eating our favorite things. So let's cut the chips right now. Add these into the air fryer then I'm gonna spray it with avocado oil this is the one we use and then I'm gonna season them get like a Mexican fill with this taco seasoning pop them in the air fryer and then this is the like steak we use for the steak nachos you can buy at Costco it's so good the macro is like 19 grams we literally use this like all week as well is and then we'll add our toppings after and then for the toppings for nachos we use like cheddar fat free cheese then i like to use this like enchilada sauce i don't know why fire and then some salsa guac always and then some pico so i'm gonna add this and then show you guys we got some loaded nachos boys like Guac, salsa, all that. I'm gonna eat it right now. Around seven o'clock at night and I just got back home from my last class of the day. So I decided to make some uh, dinner for myself. For tonight, I'm gonna have some steak, broccoli, mac and cheese, maybe a salad. Uh, you know, I have it at night, I like to make sure I have uh, carbs, protein, and some greens, of course. Having a balanced plate equals 
healthier sleep patterns, which is essential for us Division One athletes and athletes like overall, just because our our uh, workout schedules early in the morning, got to make sure we're sleeping and staying ready for the next day. So it is later after dinner. I'm gonna eat meal of the day, which is dessert. Breakfast oats is the first. Second is dessert. So I kind of made like this rice crispy treat thing, but I already ate it. But I literally just put like rice crispy treats, peanut butter, and dark chocolate in it, and then put it in the fridge. And like I used to eat oh Henry bars all the time. So, but now I need to have my delights. So I think I'm gonna go. We have like dulce de leche. These are all my top. I've shown you guys this a lot of times. And then Haley eats those down there. So praline fudge, Snickers, cake batter. Those are all like mine. So I think I'm gonna go with praline fudge to end the night. Dessert. So guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for following me along throughout the day to see what I eat as a D1 football player in Colorado. Uh, shout out to Hannah and Haley Kavaner for letting me do this. I enjoyed it, had a blast doing it. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure all you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this uh, video and to their channel. And uh, thank you guys. All right, guys, that is what Hannah and I eat fully in a day. Um, every day looks a little bit different. And just a friendly reminder, what works for us is what works for us. But find what works for you guys. It's something we're passionate about, so hopefully you guys um, eat some yummy foods and Kayla for clubbing with us. It was cool to see the difference between like a D1 football player and their nutrition, what they eat every day, and women's basketball players and what we eat. So make sure you guys go check out all the social medias. We'll have them linked below. Good luck next season, and we will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Bye.